What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. And today I'm going to be answering one of the questions that I get asked all the time. What is the most important position in Madden 25 Ultimate Team? Well, guys, as you can probably tell by the graphic on your screen, it's my opinion that the most important position in this game is actually cornerback. Now, I'm going to get some hate in the comments section about this, I'm sure, but please allow me to explain because I do have good reason to make this claim. So first of all, I want you guys to take a look at my cornerback. So look on your screen and you're going to see that I'm walking the walk on this claim. I'm not just talking the talk when it comes to loading up on cornerbacks. As you can see, I do have 99 Charles Woodson, 98 Patrick Peterson, 98 Champ Bailey, 96 Namde Asamoah, and then I've also got a Dominic Rogers Camardi card that I like to use sometimes at free safety, sometimes as another cornerback, and a Casey Hayward card just in case any of them gets injured. Now, I do also supplement this in this case by having a good free safety with Sean Taylor and also Tashawn Gibson on the other side, who becomes a 99 when you put him at a strong safety, but... I think that the cornerback position is the most important. And just watch some of these highlights here because you're going to see kind of a combination of different things that your cornerbacks can do for you on the field. You can have cornerbacks that make great plays on the pass. You can have cornerbacks that make great plays on the run. Some of them are even, even actually decent pass rushers. But like I said, overall, this is the position that I think is the most important position to stack your cards at. Now, I did make the budget series weeks ago where I talked about some of the cornerbacks and uh, various different cards and other positions as well that are, you know, good enough to be on your team. And the idea behind it wasn't necessarily just to be putting together a cheapo team that is not going to be able to be ever elite in any position. The idea was that hopefully you're going to be able to save some coins on positions like offensive line, maybe defensive line. Um, you know, quarterback possibly, things like that, where you can save some coins and actually stack up at other positions. So the position that I recommend that you stack up at is cornerback. And the biggest reason that I recommend people stacking up cards at cornerback is because cornerback is pretty much the only position on the field, at least defensively, that people don't usually user control. You're usually going to see a lot of people using safeties, Safety is a position that you can kind of be all over the field. You can have a deep zone. Most people have their safeties in deep zones on most plays. So you don't really have to be in a specific position to make plays with your safeties. Same thing with linebackers a lot of the time. You're going to see people pass rush occasionally. You're going to see them sit in coverage with their linebackers. You're going to see me doing that in these videos. And the reason for it is because it is almost impossible to stay step for step with a wide receiver when you're utilizing a cornerback because they're making breaks and things like that. Well, what you need to typically do on defense is kind of cover over the top with a safety or underneath with a linebacker in helping out your cornerback. So again, typically people are not user controlling cornerbacks. So when they're not being user controlled, we can't as users make up for the mistakes that they make on defense. The only thing that we can do is assist them by using other players on our defense. Now, when you have players that are 99 overall and have really high play rec and really good man coverage, really good zone coverage, they're tall, they're fast, they have all the good attributes of a really good corner, typically you don't have to worry about them anywhere near as much as you do when you don't have good cornerbacks. Even if you're utilizing some of the guys that I used in my uh, budget series, those guys really don't compare very favorably to the top corners in the game. Now, some of them, like I said, are good enough that you can get by with them, especially on things like solo challenges. But when you start to play against people that have the 102 speed Randy Moss card, well, guess what? You're going to need to have a really, really good cornerback that's fast and that's tall and that has good man coverage and zone coverage to be able to keep up with him. Otherwise, you're just going to get toasted the entire game. And even if you have good cornerbacks, sometimes you're still going to get toasted. But it's very, very important to stack up at cornerback because, again, you're not user controlling these players. So they need to be able to make plays on their own. And that, in a nutshell, is why I believe cornerback is the most important position in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. You're not controlling them. You can't make up for their mistakes. They need to be good. That's all there is to it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you press the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know if you guys agree with me or if you think there's another position that is more important to stack up at. As I've been explaining this 
cornerback theory of mine to other people, a lot of times they agree with me. Not every time, but a lot of times. So again, I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.